Let's have a look at how to enable your students to download their workbook from Wobo. So the way that you do this is by adding download links in a similar way that you add the other sections. So if you don't add the download links, your students actually won't be able to download their work. So some creators will choose to do this in order to prevent sharing of the content that, the content that they provide. Um, but if you do want to let your students download their work, uh, head into the workbook editor and open up whichever module you'd like it, the download link to appear in and add a section. And so you have two options. <clears throat> excuse me, there's a module download link or a workbook download link. So if you choose the module download link, that will just include the current module. So just this collection of sections here um, in which you place the download link, that's what they'll download. And then there's also a workbook download link, which is everything. <clears throat> Both options are going to include all of the student responses. So it's just a matter of what you want to let them download. Um, you can also do both. So if you have a module that has a really good diagram or maybe a checklist that you want them to keep separately from the rest of the workbook, you can you can use as many download links as you like. So when you choose it and add it, I already have one, so there's going to be two, but it looks something like this. And you can change up what the message is here that you show. Um, and you can customize these colors, of course, under global styles. So don't forget to publish your changes and that will push the edits that you're making live to your students. So the other thing I wanted to show you is a few other features that let you protect your IP. So we talked about not having download links at all. That's an option. Um, there's a few other options in here. So I went under settings and workbook settings and there's a protecting your IP section. So there's three things I wanted to show you here. Um, one option is that you can include the student name and email in a watermark. The other one is that you can put custom watermark text. And so these are going to show up on the downloaded version. So our approach here is, you know, if you're sharing your content on the internet, it's never going to be completely um, you know, avoidable to have someone copy it or distribute it. If someone really wants to, they're going to find a way. So what we're trying to do here is give you options to deter or make that a lot more difficult for someone to easily share your content or claim it as their own. So these two things kind of add that, you know, personal touch on each page. So if, if someone's sharing it, they'd have to remove their personal information first. So I'll just show you what they look like. So obviously this would be a real student first name and last name, um, but that shows up at the top and then your custom watermark shows up at the bottom. And as you can see, you can make that text whatever you like. Heading back to the workbook settings, there's one more option here, which is usually an option in your LMS tool as well. So look for that in your LMS settings, but disable text copying. Um, so this will prevent in the digital version, uh, prevent students from copying, highlighting and copying text to easily copy it from the digital version. Once they download it to a PDF, you know, they have their own copy, but just one more step to make it a little bit more difficult to um, easily copy text from your workbook.